then I'm going to just mix it up. Ooh, y'all, I'm scared. Y'all think it's going to work? I really hope this works. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, and also, welcome to those of you who are new here. My name is Matisha Chante, and this is Life with MC. So, today, I'm going to be getting into a little DIY. Um, I'm going to be coloring this wig black um it was natural brown at first then i colored it like a burgundy color and then after that I, I tried to do a red but as you can see it came out really really bright and that's just not me so i never wore it with it looking like this and so today i'm gonna try to dye it black and see how that goes so um and this hair is actually really good hair i purchased this wig from um unice or unice however you pronounce it like three years ago and it's still rocking with your girl so i'm going to doctor on it you know a little bit today as much as i can i'm gonna work on that part and we're just gonna get into it so without further ado let's go so okay so i have some latex gloves and i'm gonna be using the adore in jet black it is a semi-permanent color i purchased two bottles just in case um so i'd rather have more than enough than not enough so we're gonna get into it um because i have some festivities going on and um just a little last minute thing i decided to do um but i do just want to record this experience of course so i have my gloves here and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to section the hair into sections and just tackle it that way. I really hope this turns out right because your girl is not trying to be out here looking crazy, okay? I probably need to take my watch off. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and just part the hair into sections. I have some... have some pins here. So, I'm just going to part this into four parts. Really? I take that back. So, I'm going to twist it on one half and then clip it and then twist it on the other half. So, I'm going to start with this side and we'll get into it. Okay, so I've actually seen people do this several ways. Um, I've seen people do it the watercolor way where you like add all of the dye into like a bowl or a pan of hot boiling water and then just dunk the wig in it that way. But I'm scared to do it that way. So I'm just going to take it piece by piece and um, apply the dye on there um, just to make sure I get really good coverage and so I'm just going to time lapse through that and I'll meet you guys back in a sec. Okay so I feel like I'm doing this the long way so I'm gonna try a different method. I'm gonna put the wig on this plastic bag that I have on the floor, lay it out, and then just pour the dye on it and work it in that way. Cause I feel like I would get done much quicker. So, and I'll probably save um, more dye as well. So let me do it that way, and we're gonna we're gonna try that and see if that helps. Sorry y'all, but your girl is impatient and I feel like this is taking too long. So I'm gonna try the watercolor method. So I'm gonna go and boil some hot water, pour it in the container, dip the wig in there and see how it turns out. Because I can't, I don't have the patience and I feel like I'm wasting a lot. I should have bought one of those brushes because I feel like I'm wasting a lot of products. So I'm gonna use the 
other bottle and try the water method and then see if that works. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Let me put my gloves back on. So I have the hot water here because who's gonna sit up there and do that? I felt like I was wasting time and product at that point. So anyways, let me get the gloves on. Okay. Oh my Lord, hold on. Okay. So I'm gonna just pour this in here. The rest of that. Just mix it up. Oh, y'all, I'm scared. Y'all think it's gonna work? I really hope this works because who is about to be doing all that? Okay, here comes the true test of time. So we're just gonna dunk that in there like that, right there. Like that, like that, like that. Y'all, it's doing it. It's doing it. It's doing it. I think. I'm going to just drop the whole thing at this point. Whatever. It's freaking doing it, I think. Okay, so right now it's giving like dark burgundy, but let me try to add some more. Some more dark. I cannot believe this. What the heck? I don't even know how long I need to leave this in here. It's giving very much burgundy. Um, right now. I'm most certainly giving burgundy. But I'm cool with it because it's not as red as it was. So I'm cool with it. I feel like I'm in a science class. Like this is an experiment. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dunk it again. Like, so this is what it's looking like. I'm rinsing that bowl out so that I can, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the other bottle and I'm gonna dunk it again. And then we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so I have fresh water here. So let me make sure there's no more in here before I Okay, yeah, that's all gone. So I'm gonna pour the rest of this in here. Y'all, please let me know if y'all ever tried this before, if I'm doing this wrong. I know I didn't change this up like three times, but hey, I was not trying to be stuck here doing this all night. So, gotta improvise. Got to learn to improvise. I feel like this is so ghetto, but whatever. I don't care. It's giving me the quicker results that I want, so that's all that matters. Okay. So, we're gonna try this again, and this time I'm actually gonna leave it in there a little bit longer. Um. But hey, we love a good trial and error. Please go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. You can also check out my last video of me doing the As I Am um, Color Wax, which is what I have on my natural hair right now. So you can go and check that out if you haven't already. 
Hi guys. Okay, so um, while that's soaking, I'm probably gonna let that soak for like 30 minutes just so the product can get in there really good. And then I'm gonna let it air dry outside in the sun. And then after it air dries in the sun, I'm bring it back in and shampoo it and condition it really good and then style it. And we will see what it's looking like. I cannot believe that I've done like three different things to try to get this freaking with color i just did not feel like going through all that and so i did take the quicker route and it's actually working so let's go and take a peek and see what it's looking like right now it took okay okay i just needed to get in between these cracks and crevices though but it's most certainly taken y'all look at it can y'all see hold on let me make sure there we go yep See what it's looking like. Okay, okay, okay. I can dig it. I can dig it. Just gonna keep that in there. Maybe if I brush through it. Um, okay, yeah, never mind. It's not in a position to be brushed right now, so. And then I'm okay if it doesn't. I'm just glad it's not that bright red. So I don't even, it doesn't even have to be jet black. I just needed it to be dark enough for me and that is good. So I'm gonna let this sit and then um, I'll meet you guys back once it's time to take it out and wash it and style it and everything. So that's that. Okay y'all, so our girl is all washed and conditioned. So now I'm about to um, just blow it dry and then we're gonna go from there. So I'll just time lapse through this. Okay, so this is what we looking like so far. Um, once I get it dry, I'm actually gonna put some I'm going to brush it out and then I'm going to put some flexi rods in it and then um, I'm going to wear it on tomorrow. So I'm going to finish drying this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what the wig is looking like. I still have to curl it and put the flexi rods in it and fix the part and all that good stuff. But um, the color did take really good. As y'all saw, it was like super super bright red so i'm going to put flexi rise in it curl it all that good stuff and yeah so that concludes this video thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed watching me today and i guess i will see you guys in the next video bye